Denver Health is not only locally revered, but is nationally recognized as one of the top hospitals in the country. There's not a person in that organization who doesn't believe that basic health care is a right. It's not a privilege, it's a right. And they are constantly pushing themselves, trying to make themselves more efficient, trying to be able to deliver more health care for the same dollar. They are, from the very, very top to the very, very bottom, focused on trying to make sure that uh, you know, citizens of Denver have a healthy life. Denver Health School has been to become a model for health care for the nation by demonstrating that an integrated system of care is how you obtain quality and low cost. Multiple points of access are very important for vulnerable patients. And the example of the multiple points of access at Denver Health are we have clinics in the schools where of course the children are. We have clinics in the neighborhoods where the patients live. We have an urgent care facility here at Denver Health for kids who are acutely ill. And of course we have the hospital and the public health department. Given the reach of Denver Health into the community, it's logical that they became concerned about immunization rates among vulnerable populations. In the late 80s, there was a significant outbreak of measles in the nation, and uh, there were a number of cases in Colorado. That, I don't believe there were any deaths in Colorado, but there were a number of measles deaths associated with outbreak. And I think people started realizing that although we thought we had really good immunization rates for children, that clearly there were pockets, particularly urban areas, uh, inner city areas, where the immunization rates were quite a bit lower than we believed them to be. The goal of our initiative, very simply stated, was to increase the immunization rates of our, the children that are served through our safety net agency. The specific goal was to assure that all of those children had the correct number and combination of vaccines by the time they were 24 months or two years of age and our specific target population was any child under three years of age who had had at least one medical visit to one of our primary care clinics. To reach this goal, several objectives were established. Our first objective was to regularly assess our immunization coverage levels, and the method that we use to do that is what's called CASA assessments. CASA stands for Clinical Assessment Software Application, and this is a software application that's available from the CDC, and it allows you to take your immunization data, and the data can actually be from uh, chart, handwritten chart audits, or in our case, from registry audits, to take that data, to import it into the CASA program, and the CASA program can provide immunization rates uh, for the practice. The data that is collected is demographic data, which we actually receive for the most part from our patient registration system that is interfaced over into the immunization registry. And then, of course, the, all the vaccination data, all the details about a particular vaccination given at Denver Health. So that would be what the vaccine was, the manufacturer, the, the lot number, who gave it, where they gave it, all of that is pretty, pretty critical. The nice thing from a data standpoint is it moved us from looking at maybe 100 kids in our practice to 3,000 kids a year who entered our practice, which gave us absolutely perfect data, or almost perfect data, on that population of kids we were serving. It was a nice change. Another one of our objectives is to accurately track our patients and their vaccination histories throughout our agency, and our agency includes public health and community health, school-based health centers, inpatient hospital where vaccinations begin in the newborn nursery with the hepatitis B vaccine and go on through adulthood, and outreach clinics that are held as well. So a very broad-reaching agency. So what we determined we would do was create an immunization registry, a computerized immunization registry. Our immunization office sends you us this list of children that need shots. And so every month I review this list and I send out these cards to them to remind them that, that they need vaccines. And these two just happened to come back from the post office, so now I can go into the registry again and change them from an active patient to one that's moved. With the registry, it required that we put information into it that we may not have had in the registry before. So extra work was required uh, by the staff to do that. 
um, and there was some resistance to that to begin with because it was extra work, it took extra time. But as people began using the registry more consistently, they started to realize that uh, one, it could easily be incorporated into our work processes and there was value in using the registry because we could begin auditing in a much more uh, efficient way uh, the vaccine status of our children. Every time a child comes to our clinic, the medical assistants automatically go to the registry and pull up the recommended vaccines that are necessary for this visit. So it's so easy for them to see exactly what's needed and they can then get it prepared while the provider is seeing the patient. Helps to facilitate the visit, helps to get the patient through the clinic faster. Our third objective is to improve the on-time delivery of vaccines in all of our clinics and all of our sites. The registry has a recommend function within it and that is able to function as a standing medical order for vaccines. So the nursing staff members um, can utilize the recommend function and since pediatric vaccines are in general recommended based on the child's age and interval since the last vaccine, uh, it calculates that, takes a look at the child's past vaccination history, and then the nursing staff members, of course, need to assure that there are no contraindications to the suggested vaccines that day prior to giving them. This immunization program has made my life much easier because I don't have to figure out exactly which immunization is needed at each visit. We have a great standing order in place which empowers the nursing staff, the medical assistants, to give immunizations without getting authorization from the MDs. The registry does a better job than I do, and I can focus my energy on other more important issues at the visits. I think the most important thing is being able to get the information you need, getting it fast, doing what you need to do in order to make sure that the kids are updated with their shots and have what they need. I would have to say speed, time, it made it so much easier. In accomplishing this initiative, Denver Health used the Plan Do Study Act performance improvement model and involved staff from many areas of the organization. The way you involve our frontline staff to embrace quality initiatives is based on a number of different approaches. First of all, uh, you need to affirm their important role in the agency and positive feedback and kudos to people, letting them know that you appreciate what they're doing and that you're aware of what they're doing is certainly uh, a very consistent motivator to have people get on board with regard to quality. The second thing that we try to do is to give people data, provider-specific data, because peer pressure motivates people. We started collecting the vial tops to give us a visual reminder of how important it is to focus on vaccines at every visit. And after a while, we started just collecting them for the fun of it, to have a friendly competition with all the other clinics and community health to see who could collect the most tops. Because of this initiative, immunization rates have improved significantly at Denver Health. For one-year-old patients, the immunization rate improved by 26%. With two-year-old patients, the immunization rate improved by 46%. Data is what you need to drive your decisions, and the Pediatric Immunization Initiative is very firmly entrenched in a data-based uh, information system, and we've learned the lesson from that and have further increased our IT uh, investment in this hospital in order to be able to provide that level of care for many other disease processes and similarly to prevent illnesses from ever happening. 